After a long winter, it's finally springtime here in Alabama, and it's delivered us the perfect conditions for race day here at Barber Motorsports Park. We're set for round three of the Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge, and it's sure to be action-packed all of the way. Charles Espenlaub on the pole, Jade Buford on the outside of the front row, they're green. Heading down into this very tricky oh, turn look. one, two, there's some argy bargy in the back of the pack there, Dorsey. See Corey Fergus there in the second position, starting to feel some heat now from the number 56 car of Jesse Coombs. This was as we were cutting away to the highlight package, Eric yeah. Curran. That kind of, he got pinched, he got up on the curb and this will show it better. Oh, they, no, they made contact, definitely. Yeah, Eric had committed there to the inside. I'd say so. <laughs> now, brutal. It, it was brutal, Bloody but this is guy. also the car that was in the middle of the ST cars earlier. So obviously, Roger yeah. Miller deserves to not be run over. We've got a full course caution for some action on the racetrack, and it has been really heating up. The ST battle has been sensational. Jesse Coombs has got Stephen McAleer, the winner from Coda, all over his tail in that little MX-5 car. And it's a pass on top of a pass, and it was a pretty abrupt turn in by Maxwell. It clearly caught Bill off guard. It looked like Bill was being really aggressive there to even make a yeah. move, but uh, just found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time, and talked about that strategy from the four-line boys. We now see the 48 car leading once again. Charles Espenlaub was the pole sitter. And then this was a big one, Tommy. And this is the reason we're under caution. Uh, we had two of the faster cars splitting that 99 M3, and Maxwell started to turn down into the corner, and at the same time that the 98 was sort of trying to give room to Brian Sellers on the inside. Green flag is out, and Jod Edwards leads Brian Sellers back to the stripe. Is now Matt Plum in the rum bum machine, the defending champions here at Barber, up to third. Embringham is fourth, Tony's Kazimitz fifth. Duvardi's been at this racing game for 40 some years. And look at this, Sellers, that's where that incident happened. He's worrying Edwards big time. Yeah, he's Edwards got a battle on two fronts because he's got to worry about uh, yeah. the car behind him as well with Plum. Here yeah, we're looking at the ST battle. We're on board with Andrew Carbonell, who currently sits in second, trying to chase down his teammate Tom Long, and he's got Jason Saney all over his tail as well. So it's Mazda's one, two, three, Gregory Lafuge. And the number 81 BMW is fourth, and Terry Borshall, who had a great podium run at Coda, is down in the fifth spot. Well, well the caution is for this stranded four-line machine. Hugh Plum had the engine blow on this car, and they've gone full caution here. Oh. I've heard that before. Welcome back to Barber Motorsports Park. The green flag is out, and we go back racing as Matt Plum leads the charge down into turn one. ST battle hasn't let up. Look at this, no. the two Freedom Autosport cars still running one, two. As they have for the majority of this race. So Mars is one, two, three, down into that hairpin turn. No one being real aggressive right now, just trying to wind these laps away. For Matt Plum, he's got to drive now very smoothly, just hit all of his marks. He's got enough of a lead that he's not going to give that up in five minutes. I mean, he'd have to make a mistake. Here we look at this ST battle. Really, the picture hasn't changed. It's Mazda's one, two, three, led by Freedom Autosport, Tom Long, Andrew Carbonell. Oshenbach being really clean there. I thought he'd have started to put the pressure on Maxwell here. Hey, look at here. ST starting to get position. Carbonell wow. must have slipped up a little, so it was yeah. taking the defensive. Yep. ST battle, one more lap to go. No change, still Mazda, one, two, three. Two corners to go for Matt Plum to repeat here with his teammate Nick Longy for the Rum Bump team. Through the final turn, accelerating onto this front straightaway here at Barber Motorsports Park. It's the Rum Bump team, they return to victory lane. In second spot is John Edwards, and in third and fourth, it's a pair of Multimatic Astons. And then in ST, it's one, two, three, Mazda. Long looks like he's got this one in hand. His teammate right behind him. Will he try and put the pressure on here with two corners to go? Saney looks to the outside. He's got Will he take the long way around here? He looks to it, doesn't get grip. Gives him the inside run here, but not enough. Tom Long brings it to the stripe in front of his teammate and takes his sixth ST win with his teammate Derek Widus. 18 victory for Freedom Autosport. A brilliant day for that team.